Good evening, Southeast Texas. We start tonight with some difficult news for the art community here in Beaumont. We learned today that renowned artist Daryl Tropey passed away this weekend. Odds are you've seen some of his work around town. His beautiful paintings can be found on electrical boxes in front of the Mildred Building, Rayo's Bakery, and Christie's Frame Shop on Calder, along with many other locations. 12 News reporter Simona Barca caught up with some of Tropey's friends to hear more about the legacy he's leaving behind. Cam Darrell truly died as he lived. His body was found yesterday, Christmas morning, in his art studio. Family and friends are still waiting for answers about how and when he died. But in the meantime, they're remembering the bright, joyous life he lived. Color and power and energy. Oh, with him, no. It's all of the colors. It, it, it's like run with scissors and draw outside of the lines. It was Daryl's motto. That's how friends remember artist Daryl Tropy. His art will live on forever. And that's what he was most proud of. And that's what he loved the most. And I think that would make him really happy. He channeled his energy and passion for art into helping those around him. I met Daryl when uh, we were in Houston and we were both volunteering for a project of painting someone's home that was underprivileged. If he would see one of my campaign signs defaced, which some people do that, um, he would go and paint over it and it almost looked like an Andy Warhol. Whether it was helping someone directly or brightening up space like these vibrant and colorful electric boxes around the city. Daryl would give the shirt off his back to anybody that would need it. Those who need him say his art was a reflection of his life, which he lived boldly. He was um, kind of like a bigger than life guy and his work, his artwork kind of reflects that also. When he first opened his studio, he had a party there and you had to be there by a certain time and it was in the day, like at two o'clock in the afternoon. And if you weren't there by that time, you couldn't go because the doors would be closed. And so when you went in, he had it set up almost like a nightclub. It seemed like it was nighttime. We left and it was still light outside and it was very odd, mm -hmm. but that's just how he was. He would do things kind of out of the ordinary. He's left a mark not only on the people he loved, but the community he cherished. Beaumont has lost a bright star with his passing. Tropy's family are on their way to Beaumont to arrange the funeral services. We'll keep you posted on when and where the services will take place, as well as any new information we get about Tropy's death. I'm Simona Barca, 12 News.